Okay, this question is asking us essentially to derive the demand for jalapeno, cheese stuffed jalapeno peppers based on our knowledge of Casey's and Josie's willingness to pay, and then to figure out what the um, consumer surplus is if the price of a pepper is 40 cents. So we look and say if the price is 90 cents, is Casey willing to buy a pe pepper? The answer is yes, she's willing to pay 90 cents. Is Josie willing to pay 90 cents? The answer here is no. The maximum price Josie's willing to pay for a pepper is 80 cents. So if the price were 90 cents, there'd be one pepper demanded by Casey, none by Josie, one total. If the price is 80 cents, Casey's willing to pay at least 80 cents, but she doesn't want an additional pepper until it's at least 70 cents is the cost. So Casey still only wants one pepper at 80 cents. Josie now is willing to pay for one pepper because this is her maximum price. So we would say, that in this case, if the price were 80 cents, two peppers would be demanded. If the price is 70 cents, Casey's willing to buy two peppers at 70 cents. Josie's only willing to pay for one. So the total here would be three. At 60 cents, we look and say, okay, Casey's still only willing to buy two. Josie now is willing to buy two. So four total in the market. At 50 cents, Casey's willing to buy three. Josie, still only willing to buy two. So the total would be five. At 40 cents, Casey's willing to only buy three. In order to get the fourth pepper, the price has to be 30 cents. Josie is willing to buy three because her minimum price that she's, or maximum price she's willing to pay for three peppers would be 40 cents. Six total demanded in the market at 40 cents. At 30 cents now, Casey's willing to buy four. Josie is also willing to buy four. So we would have eight. If the price were 20 cents, they'd still both want four. If it was 10, they'd both still want four. And if they were giving them for free, they'd still only want four. When it comes to the consumer surplus, if the price of the pepper is 40 cents, we'd see that Casey was willing to buy a pepper at 90 cents, so the first pepper would bring her 50 cents of happiness or, or of uh, consumer surplus. The second one she was willing to pay 70 cents for, so if the price is actually only 40, she has 30 cents. The third one she was willing to pay 50 cents, but if she only has to pay 40 cents, then there's 10 cents of surplus for Casey. For Josie, if the price is 40 cents, she'll get 40 cents worth of consumer surplus for the first pepper. She'll get 20 cents because it's the difference between the price she's paying 40 cents and the 60 cents she was willing to pay for the second pepper and no consumer surplus because she was willing to pay 40 and she has to pay 40 for her third pepper. So Casey has 90 cents of surplus. Josie has 60 cents of surplus. If we add them together we find that the total surplus in the market is $1.50.